Hi, and thank you for joining us here at Peak Survival. We're continuing our segment on Ultimate Survival Technologies. This is one of their survival kits. It's called the Aqua Survival Kit. Now, what's in here? You have a waterproof bag, so you can store everything in here, seal it up, and even put it underwater, and it's going to protect everything. You can also use this bag as a water container. Now, something I would add to this would be water purifying tablets. So you have your water covered. The next thing, um, shelter. So this is an impressive saber cut saw. I've worked with other uh, wire saws before and uh, they just didn't stand up to the test and they were a little bit awkward. Something like this is quite impressive. It is a lot heavier, but it's durable and it's going to do the work. So you want to place it here and what I usually do is I, I kind of wrap it around here and then grab it wrap it around, grab it, and this is so easy. Look at that, just a few, and it cut right through that. Now keep in mind, when you're building a shelter, you don't wanna use something like this and try to cut down massive trees. You wanna work primarily with what you find around you, and then if you have to, start cutting things down. Something about this width is great, about this width also. After that, you're just using way too much energy. You want to save your energy in a survival situation. You can also use the uh, saber cut saw, obviously, for uh, gathering firewood and cutting down some uh, good pieces of wood. So, shelter slash fire covered, and you have a little uh, storage container in there so that you uh, don't cut everything in the bag. So, signaling. You have your signal mirror. If you do not know how to use one, definitely check out our video on signaling. I show you how to use one. Um, and then you also have your whistle. Now, in a survival situation, you may uh, not be heard because you may be weak. Your voice isn't strong enough. Whistle. That is pretty loud. And uh, you want to consider a whistle that doesn't have a pea inside because in the winter the pea can end up sticking and uh, when you're going to need it the most it may fail on you. So this is peeless, reliable, lightweight. Signal mirror, I just want to come back to this really quickly. Um, it's fantastic because you can signal from miles away. I mean 70 miles away, even a little bit further, uh, people will be able to see you. So this is something definitely to have in your survival kit. So we have signaling. Now let's talk about fire. So this is a fire striker. So basically you just flip that over like so and it's one handed. So again, if you have something wrong with your other hand, you're cold, you have frostbite, you can use one hand for this. They also come with wet fire, um, fire tinders. So basically if it's raining outside, you'll still be able to start a fire. You press down like so and you got a fire starting. So another thing I would consider adding to this would be some cordage for um, building a shelter, putting that wood together. Keep in mind, in a survival situation, having these on you could really help you survive. If you have nothing at all, just consider um, what your options are going to be like. It's going to be a lot slimmer. So even having something this small on you, it gives you a reason to carry it. There's, it can fit in your pocket, in your backpack, so there's really no excuse to not have something with you. So stay tuned for more videos on Ultimate Survival Technologies.